What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers report. It's a little bit dark in this video because I'm having to film later in the day, but that's all right. The Rangers have some breaking news. I'm going to get straight into it, but if you're interested in joining the Fantasy Baseball League, there's still um, slots to sign up, so that link will be in the description down below. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So spring training started roughly about a week ago, and Breaking news came in today that Sam Huff um, received a hamstring injury. It was a hamstring strain whenever he was running the bases on Sunday. So today is Tuesday, so it just got out today. This is not that great to hear. Um, Sam Huff is the Rangers' number two prospect in the organization. Um, we knew that he was not going to be starting uh, at the major league level, probably double A or triple A. However, this limits him from gaining experience going against major league uh, pitching and major league competition so this is not good news to hear however it's not super detrimental to his career it's not like uh, his career is over um i mean the hamstring injury is not great especially as, since he's a catcher his time at spring training might be over he may still be able to get batting practice in however i think it's more likely that he goes to extended spring training or whatever the minor leaguers do and that's how he will recoup the time lost with this injury so i wanted to break that out for you guys and also the rangers signed another guy to a minor league contract with an invite to spring training that player is right-handed pitcher ian kennedy so kennedy is an interesting player he was drafted in the first round by the New York Yankees, I think in 2006. Um, so he was a top prospect. He made his major league debut one year later. He kind of bounced around the league. He started off as a starter, then went into the bullpen. And then he's been the closer for the Royals. He had a really good 2019 season. But then in 2020, it went haywire for him. Chris Young, the Rangers general manager, has kept on saying that the Rangers want competition. So I think this is a good signing. Like no minor league signing is bad because this could um, provide another closer option for the Rangers. If Ian Kennedy is able to get back to his 2019 form, the Rangers have not guaranteed Jose Leclerc the closer spot. So I like this um, move by the Rangers. Although if Ian Kennedy sucks in spring training, he may not even make the roster. But I wanted to let you guys know about that. And last but not least, one of my favorite players on the Rangers for the past seven years has been Shin Su Chu. He has signed a one-year, roughly $2 million deal to play in the KBO for the SK Wyverns. I may have pronounced that wrong. However, I think this is good for Chu. He gets to go back to South Korea where um, he was born and raised. He obviously was not getting any major league offers to play in 2021. However, the Wyverns, if I said that right, they're getting an on-base machine. And Chu did have a down year last year. However, um, the KBO is not the level that the major league is. So he probably, I think Chu will um, be a really good veteran presence um, on the Wyverns. And I think he could be a really good DH. I, if they have the DH over there, I'm pretty sure they do. And he can be an on-base machine. And I think this is also another, I think this is a good move by Chu because um, if you were to sign a deal with a major league club, it'd probably be a minor league deal like Kennedy. But now he gets a guaranteed roster spot for roughly 2 million. So that's good for Chu. And now he gets to do it in the place where he was born. So this just about wraps up the video. If you liked it, please give it a like. That could really help out this channel. If you're new, please subscribe because I post three times a week solely on the Texas Rangers. And if you're interested in the fantasy baseball, click the link down below as well. And we can do a fantasy baseball league this year. And thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.